Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we explain the different options for color adjustment. First, it's important to understand which images can be used and how to customize their colors. The best image format for colorizable layers is SVG. If you can't use SVG, PNG images are also an option, though there are some limitations. The maximum size for PNG images is restricted. If you need to use larger PNG images for color adjustments, you can increase the Fabric.js texture size in the main settings. However, be aware that this can significantly affect browser performance. JPEG images cannot be used for color customization because they do not support transparency. If you try to colorize a JPEG, you will see a solid colored rectangle instead. In this demonstration, you are seeing three different layers, a SVG with one path, a SVG with multiple paths, and a PNG image. We'll use these layers to show you the different colorization options. It's important to note that SVG images are handled differently from PNG images when it comes to displaying colors. An SVG can contain one or more paths, and our solution will create the defined color options for every path in the SVG. First, let's explore the color picker feature. This tool lets the customer pick any color they like. When you select an SVG file, you'll find an option called Color Picker Per Path. Turn this on to activate the color picker. If you're working with a PNG file, you'll need to enter one hexadecimal color value in the color's input field. Let's see how this looks on the front end. You'll notice a difference in how colors display for SVGs with one path versus multiple paths. For an SVG with a single path, the color picker appears directly when you click on the color tool. For an SVG with multiple paths, a grid will display each path. You need to click on a grid item to open the color picker for that specific path. Now let's explore another color option, the color palette. This limits the customer to selecting from a specific range of colors. To set this up, you just need to enter multiple hexadecimal color values in the color input field. If you need the same color selections for multiple products, our time-saving feature, the color list, is perfect for you. Here's how to set it up. Go to the main settings, then look for the color settings. There you'll find the color list tab, create a new color list, give it a name, and add your color values. Now, when you're in the product builder, you can select this list for any element. All the colors from your list will be automatically assigned to that element. Another useful feature is the color link group. This lets you link color changes across different elements and views. Simply enter the color link value for the elements you want to connect. When you change the color in one, it updates all linked elements automatically. If you want to apply these color options to elements added by your customers, such as text or images, just head to the settings. From there, go to Element Properties and select Coloring. This is where you can set up the color features for customer added elements. There are even more color options available in the settings. Simply click on the Colors tab. Here, you can assign names to your hexadecimal color values, which will be displayed on the front end instead of the hex code. You can also set different prices for each color, which is especially useful for color palettes. If you want to show some color suggestions below the color picker, click on Color General. Here, you can enter a list of color values to display as suggestions. Have fun with your customizations, and thanks for watching.